Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing a total of $905. So let's just go ahead and count the money to make sure we have the right amount. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundred. 50, 100, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that is 100, no, $905. So let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing by starting with our bills. So happy Mother's Day for those who celebrate and happy Mother's Day, Mom, if you're watching this video. Rent is getting $295, so that is a fourth of our rent payment. What are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Let me know below in the comments. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 295. So since this is one fourth of our rent payment, the money in this envelope right now is just the buffer kind of that we have. I wanna get at least a month ahead, but I don't wanna put this money in month ahead, in my month ahead envelope just yet. I do have some money in there, but I don't wanna put it in there just yet because I kind of want to keep them separated until I have a month ahead on all my bills. So I'm just gonna combine it like this. And then when I go to pay it, obviously the $55 will stay in here. So for rent, we have one, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 345, 350. I guess then I need to make like a note to myself that I have $55 in here that should not be used because I want that to stay here as a buffer. So I calculated this, um, it's $295, that's a quarter of our rent payment. So I'll just have to write that down just so I remember, but that is it for rent. Car payment is getting $217. So car payment is, actually, let me combine this first. Actually, let me count this to make sure I pulled out the right amount. 1, 200, 10, 15, 16, 17. And I just remembered that I forgot to start this video off by doing my wallet. So, um... I guess I can do that after this binder, just so I don't confuse myself. I don't want to stop right here in the middle. So car payment now has 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Oops, my bills were all messed up. So we do have a little bit of a buffer in our car payment envelope too. I think it's $25. So we have 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 444 I think and our payment is I budgeted 433 because it's 432 and some change $11 oh I think it was 10 I don't know but anyways we have more than the payment so that's fine I'll have to figure that out later I don't want to think about it too much I, I feel like I'm kind of frazzled because I have a lot on my mind right now I was trying to like figure out my setup for this video and I just couldn't make everything I wanted to have out like fit in the frame um, because when I zoom out on my phone it lessens the quality and I'm not sure why so and I'm not sure if that matters like if I should just go ahead and film zoomed out and if I upload my video to YouTube you know you can press the different like HD options if you press like the highest one it might still be good quality but I'm not sure I'm gonna have to test that and figure it out but I was getting frustrated because I spent so much time trying to figure it out. But anyways, car insurance is getting 113. So 
So now in car insurance, we have 100, 200, 210, 220, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 226 for car insurance. Next is internet, and internet will be getting 54. So now in internet, we have 50, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 107. Utilities is getting skipped. Subscriptions will be getting 16. So now in subscriptions, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32 dollars. Annual expenses will be getting 10. I feel like I had something to say in this video, but I totally forgot. I'm gonna search for a nicer 10. These are all kind of wrinkly. So now annual expenses has 20, 30, 40, 45. And we need $100 in here by next April. The only annual expense we have right now is Logan's PlayStation Plus. It's $100, so we're doing pretty good on that. We're almost halfway there. Credit card is getting skipped. Miscellaneous is getting 85. 50, 70, 85. So now in miscellaneous, which is our tire payment, we currently, I think, only owe like 430 something dollars, which isn't bad. So miscellaneous now has 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170. I've been keeping track of it in my planner. Every time I make a payment, I just subtract the 170 and see how much we have left until we get down to zero. So I'm going to have to double check. On that but I think it is like four hundred and something dollars savings will be getting ten I wish we could stuff more but we're kind of we kind of don't have a lot to work with which is fine but at least our bills are paid okay savings has 1,000 in the bank and then 50 60 70 $1,070 in savings. Emergency will be getting five. So now in emergency, we have 50, 70, $75. month ahead we'll also be getting five so now in month ahead we have 100 150 170 190 195 196 197 198 and that is it for this binder so now i'm going to move on to my wallet since i forgot to do that at the beginning i don't know why but i just forgot i think it's because i haven't filmed the cash stuffing in a hot minute so for my wallet we have rollover in groceries so we have 10 15 16 dollars I'm gonna set that aside so I can put that in an envelope and this money for Starbucks need deposited back uh, into my account, but I'm just gonna leave that in this envelope until I stuff this envelope so that I can put it in the back. This video is my boyfriend's paycheck and next I'm filming my paycheck. They're two separate videos, they'll go up different days. 
so in that video you'll see I will move this but I'm just gonna leave that and the only envelope in here that's going to get stuffed is spending which is getting $20 And that's all that spending has. Going back to my bills binder because of my rollover. See, I just feel like I'm all over the place because I forgot to do my wallet first and I don't know, because I also want to move my savings envelope. So I was gonna do that in this video and we're still going to. So the rollover from my wallet I've decided I want to put into our credit card envelope because we are trying to pay off our washer and dryer. So I figure any leftover money will go there. I used to put it in savings, which I think is perfectly fine as well, but since we have debt we need to pay off, I wanna do that. So I'm putting $16 in credit card and that's all that it has because I just made a payment so I'm going to move all of my savings envelopes into my personal binder and the reason for that is because I have other, I purchased a digital download savings challenge, more than one, from Etsy and so I'm going to add more envelopes and in my bills binder like it's kind of getting thick and I do plan on getting more envelopes to put in this binder so I'm going to just put them in my personal binder because this one is really thin. I don't have many envelopes in there. So I'm gonna put them behind them. So right now I have my $200 savings challenge. I'm just gonna go in here. I have this compulsive saver challenge from the Aesthetic Dollar. I think this was a freebie that I got. Uh, I haven't started it, but I will when I can. Same with this $500 savings challenge from the Aesthetic Dollar. I think that was a freebie as well. And then I have my $1, $5, and $10 challenge, which is where I put any like rollover money from my wallet, which I'm not doing now because I'm putting that in my credit card envelope, but that's what this is. So let me go grab the new savings challenges that I have to add here, which I also am not gonna start, but I just wanna add them in here so that when I do, it's all ready to go. So I have everything in this pouch from Lux Designs. I've got these off Etsy. I will link them in the description box in case you're interested. So I have this 50 envelope challenge one, a coffee savings challenge, which says every time you don't drink coffee, put $5 into this savings. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one, but maybe. A buffer cash savings, you save $450 with this one. The mini savings challenge, $20 a week easy savings for 10 weeks, and another mini savings challenge. So these are both the mini savings challenges, but they're a little different and they're both $300. So I need to decide which ones I wanna do. I think I wanna eventually put all of these in here, but I don't have enough envelopes for that. So I have some extra envelopes in here. These two clear zipper envelopes I got with this checkered binder when I ordered it from Etsy, the seller included these in there. And then I have these envelopes from Soul Mama which are the envelopes that I'm using for these two challenges. So I think for the 52 or the 50 envelope challenge, I'm gonna use the zipper envelope because there's gonna be more cash in there. So I'm not sure if I wanna put them behind these. Yeah, no, I think I wanna put them in front of. So I want the zippers to alternate so that's closed open. okay so this one I'm gonna stick here and again I don't know when I'm gonna start these but I just wanted to set it up so that when I do it's ready to go okay next is the coffee savings challenge 
Every time I don't drink coffee, put $5 into this savings. So I have like Starbucks money, obviously, in my wallet. If I never spend that, I could put it in here because my denominations are a $5 and a $1 for my drink. So that's like literally perfect. But I never not spend that money. So I'm not, I could still put it in there because I do have quite a bit of envelopes. So I could still put it in there. I think I'm going to do the buffer cash savings with the zipper because, I mean, I could condense this, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then everything else I'm going to put in these envelopes. So let's put the buffer cash savings behind the 50 envelope one. Oh, wait. I think I need to switch these so that the zippers are alternating. That's closed. Okay. So here is my buffer cash savings challenge. And then here is the 50 envelope challenge. I apologize if this video is super long and this is kind of a random thing I wanted to set up, but I wanted to do this on camera and I am kind of all scatterbrained right now for some reason. So I will put, I guess I'll just put these behind here. It doesn't really matter what order they go in. So I need four envelopes. This might be like way too much though. Like these are a lot of savings challenges. I don't plan on doing all of them at the same time, but I can always take some out if I'm not doing them or if I don't like them or whatever the case may be because I will definitely not be doing all of these at once. Like there is no way, like I can barely do this one. This is the one I'm doing now because I don't have a lot of money to work with as it is. So maybe like my YouTube paycheck, I can do my savings challenges, which speaking of, I will be filming a YouTube paycheck cash stuffing for my May paycheck, which is super exciting. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Um, so stay tuned for that because I have been monetized on YouTube, but I just haven't been filming the YouTube cash stuffing. So I'm excited to do that. So. Here I have my personal envelopes and then my savings challenges, which I'm super excited about. I love how minimal these trackers look and I'm excited to start them. So I, hopefully I can soon. So I'm gonna set this back and then continue on with my cash stuffing after I put these envelopes back here. Okay, so I think we did my wallet, we did my bills. Next is the last binder that I'm gonna stuff today. This is low priority sinking funds. So Logan is getting $40. So now he has 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45. And then gifts is getting 35, 20, 35. His niece's birthday is soon, so we're saving up for a gift. So in gifts, we have 20, 30, 40, 45 dollars. So that is it for today's cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video.